Welcome to my survival series for No Man's Sky and we're down on my base at the moment and what I want to do in this video is make some progress with the ghosts in the machine mission but before that I want to talk about a couple of things which have popped up since the end of the last video but the first thing I want to do is apologize for the disruption to the schedule over the last few days and the reason for that is probably what anyone who lives in the UK is aware of that on the 5th of November we are going back into lockdown and what I've had to do over the last few days and I've still got a bit more to do is rush around and get all the things I had planned over the next two or three weeks done before we go into this lockdown mode so so apologies for not maintaining my schedule so the things I want to look at is that we've got and if I come into here it says expanding the base and it says build a construction terminal now I wasn't particularly that happy about having a construction table down on this base I'd rather build it on another base but I actually do this. So if you come into here, terminal, but it doesn't want to let me build it in here anyway, which is quite strange because if I go outside, I could put the, the construction terminal outside, which would be a bit unfortunate for uh, my construction engineer on this planet. You may actually get burnt to the ground. And out of curiosity, what I did do is I brought in my uh, trash ship, which I've been repairing. Let's give you a bit of an update on that. I've actually managed to clear a few of the slots with some of the various bits and pieces and what I do need is piles of chromatic metal and some gold and some dioxide <laughs> but the main fact thing I do need is chromatic metal but what I actually did was I bought all the wiring looms so that uh, you can see so I've repaired it with the wiring looms just to get it out of the way and I and we need pyrite and fossils for that I would like to get this ship fully repaired so that I can actually start using it or maybe when it's close to repaired I'll start using it because I, I, the more I look at it the more I like it I just like this nose with the the shaping on it and the tubes on the top anyway I'm getting distracted so I think what first thing we're going to do is we're going to jump into the teleporter and go to the space station space station current system I think this is the system we're in and moment it says previous system at the moment and it actually says that the target is in the Shinak 4 so maybe we have to go to Shinak 4 to get the next step in the mission we may even be able to get that photo mission as well okay, here we are um, stone pads target planet located I help your friend browse mission see what missions he's got the harvester kill four sentinel squad squad kill 15 creatures it's quite an interesting um sit <clears throat> and it says kill 15 creatures as you see in this mission actually reminds me of something that if you've got kill creature missions and you do a derelict freighter and you run into the various like um creatures especially the small little ones that run around you can actually do those missions so so if you're going to do a direct freighter stock up on any kill creature missions because that would give you a bit of a bonus and i brought the wrong ship up <laughs> oh i messed up didn't i okay we're gonna have to like well it's let me summon the ship in here i've never done uh, oh. yeah, i thought you could summon the ship here we have to go back down to the our base and do the swapping around unless of course they go and land on the planet one well, that will work okay let's, let's, let's do it there I haven't really flown this ship anyway and I say it is a bit damaged Right, we got a planet right in front of us. Aggressive Sentinels. We're just a little bit of a fly to this. And this is one of the problems if you take breaks from playing a game. It's very difficult to actually remember what you're actually doing, especially when you're playing lots of other games like I do. And that's one of the reasons why I do like to keep my schedule going so that. And I mean, I do keep a, what you could call a game diary, which I write down 
the main events of the whatever I did in that in that video, but it still doesn't give me the whole background. There we are, it's a free landing point there. That's just what I needed. We can just get in here. This could actually work to my benefit. As long as the sentinels don't come in and kill me. Thank you, game. This is actually a manufacturing base, so we could have a crack at that, but it, cut it out. Stop telling me things. Okay, just go back in here. Fortunately, there's only one landing point here, but that's okay. There's some creatures around, so we'll uh, go for the creature scans. Sentinel coming in as well. Any other creatures around? Nope. Plants there. Confirm that this is a reinforced door. Have this oxygen. And we'll take off with the flying brick. Fly away. I keep pressing the G key to select a weapon. Of course, on the moment, the only weapon I've got is the uh, phase beams. And it's probably a, not quite much good, to be honest. Right, blown the door open. If we can kill some sentinels as well, the fun of it. Any? Can't see any around. Just fly around the back here. Okay, looks like we've hit the sentinels. A nice cave here as well. Oh, look at that. He's right on my tail. Couldn't see him from the air and he suddenly appears just as soon as I land. Let's just get in here. What's that? In. Get the encyclopedia on the wall. manufacturing facility that my dramatic entry has caused a fire alert the screen is wet to touch a warning flashes on the terminal warning warning something something panels on the ceiling drip where the sprinkler system has even been engaged I can only hope liquid is water drain the capacitor banks drain the resource vault drain let's drain the capacitor banks the system sputters a little shows the sign of signs of life but it's not to be a shower of sparks reveals short circuit within the flooded terminal it closes down the facility is lifeless <laughs> oh well that's the way it goes and um, and before anyone posts a comment yes i know you can save scum but that's not me i either get it properly or i don't get it at all kind of i want to get some little bit of cobalt before we leave thank you again there's some Vortex cubes there, which is good for a little bit of money. We'll just grab these. Then you miss those. Those be good. Scan the cobalt for the secondary. Stop nagging me, game. Oh, ha! Planet's creeping up behind me on fire. <laughs> that would have been a bit naughty if I'd been caught in that. The tree there. Scan that for a bit of cash as well. 19,000. Make sure I get in the right ship. Have a little bit of this condensed carbon. I know you're there, Mr. Sentinel. Yeah. 
be like Yeah, well we lost something from whoever that was. I really try I've got the salvage data. That can go to the starship. The vortex cubes in the starship. I think we can decompose that. What did I get for that? <laughs> Not enough fuel in launch thrusters. <sighs> Isn't this fun? Need some more sh fuel. What do I just have a quick check? Fuel situation. I need dihydrogen. Okay. I have to watch my takeoffs and landings for the moment. Right, what we're going to do is get back up into space. And what we're going to do is go back to the space station and sell those vortex cubes. And maybe buy some dihydrogen. So we're just going to go in here. Well, so I probably haven't got the jetpack to jump up here like I normally do, right? Eh. Oh. But soon run out. Yeah. All those. Oh, I got some dihydrogen jelly, so I don't need to buy any dihydrogen. What happened to the. Only 25,000, but I'll take it. I think I'll get rid of that one navigation data because it's just logging up my inventory at the moment. I've got some. Let's have a look. Peak stop. I can. What else do I need for. My hydrogen and metal plating. Make a. Those. Uh, we'll have to put that into the starship. We'll turn those back into dihydrogen. That up. Wait, two. Well, I'll take it. Um. I was about to go heading for that ship over there. It looked like my Explorer, that uh, E-Class 27 slot. Oh, to have the money. So the next stop is going to be the Nexus. We will get to the main mission eventually. I just want to tidy up these odds and ends and sort out a few issues. So what we're going to do is come in here, bring in the Nexus. And while we're here, so how much progress is the VEC community research? So this is nearly finished, it's tier two. Does that mean we're still on the what we were doing before? We just have a quick look and see what Quicksilver's got. Grab this. Great exotic items. Yep, the, we're still working towards the chromatic starship trail. Which is going to be in my dreams if, as far as with respect to this series. I'll we'll have a talk with uh, Helios. I'm um, wondering. Okay. We still don't have access to the ability to get derelict freighters, but we'll give him this. Get some nanites. Got more nanites. And we'll go and talk over with Mr. Cheapskate over here, Ares. 
the travel progress exchange well perhaps valid perhaps exchange metals one selfish data now actually we'll, we'll do both just to see what we get we got some nice 350 nanites what are you going to give me for one salvage data? Um, nothing. Oh. Right, what we need to do now is... Go and talk to Nada. move this mission forward okay. priest entity nada what have you learned traveler what generates artemis entity signal mention the portal i tell nada how we failed to understand artemis's location I explain this strange i i tell nada how we failed to understand artemis's location I explain their strange messages apollo and the portal drifts nada pauses their light blinks on as they process the information Artemis slips between worlds into the data fall. Our home lives in these spaces, but these holes are not our stable small. Nardo is worried. Traveller cracks between the iterations should not widen. It will not help us. Artemis entity still does not remember Nardo. Say they do not. This is a puzzle, a trap, or a tragedy. Apollo entity is unknown to Nardo. More puzzle puzzling still. If Traveller entity is curious, Nardo has a vice. Is it? Their rampant crimson is the work of the Atlas Falsity. Our, our other Corvax say deity. Nada knows better. Our Atlas False entity hunts Nada, but travellers may seek them out and draw them away. So speak with Polo. How's that mission? Okay. Well, I've told Nada. Do we have to talk to him again? Other anomalies have other anomalies have examined the portals before these gates. Other anomalies have examined the portals before. The gates are anomalies themselves. You may interact unpredictably. Um, let's talk to Polo just to see if he's got anything for us. Specialist Polo. Boundaries are strange things, traveler friend. Most things stay where they belong. Other things, our home, Atlas, and now Artemis' friend, slip between. Curious. Ask about portals. Just devices, traveller friend. To be understood, copied, advanced. That is all we can do with the universe. Say, yes, appreciate it. Okay, so we're not much luck from that perspective. Uh, right, what we'll do now is we'll go and talk to the ship guy. Actually, there's a marker on here, so let's... Construction research table. Don't really want to buy anything here for the moment. What we will talk to is that. Whoops. Whoops, the ship guy. Uh, we we shall fly together. Yes, research starship upgrades. It's interesting. It says the teleporter receiver is unlocked. And is it actually installed on my ship? Oh, I've got it. Ah, I need three wiring looms. Sorry. Ah, brain's out to lunch. So I've got half an installation. And we need three wiring looms. It is uh, fairly early in the morning at the moment. We're making this recording. And because I'm and I've got to make sure I don't make it too long either. Because what I've got to do is record this, edit, and update and release it all on, on the same day. Which is something I don't normally do. So let's just get back to here. Yeah, um, I think that's the downside of part installing or part repairing things that you forget that you've actually done it. It might. We'll get there. So, what we're going to need to do is buy three. Bit wiring looms, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, we need three wiring looms. Got plenty of money, which should be no problem. Okay. 
I don't want to carry spare ones around. There. Pull them. And that will now activate the computer base archives. And what I need to do now is dose in the machine. Do that. What missions have I got for taking pictures? We got radioactive world. Back here. Anyone I've got. I want to do the ghosts in the machine though. If you find a radioactive world while we're at it, that'd be even better. Something tells me I'm not doing very well today. I mean, our assistant is actually in the space station. Ooh. Over here. Filing wherever you are. Our friend, you have arrived as schedule. All proper permits have been filed and exciting new tool awaits you. Joy, I have plans to update both base and exosuit. Where is your base sited and what sort of hazard protection meets your needs? Uh, I've got coal protection. Wouldn't mind the heat protection. Clever friend, may your home always be sanctuary. Clever friend, may your home always be a sanctuary wherever you explore the universe. We got out, oh, and we've got the base blueprints. This all I need to do now is actually find a base. Wow, we got a lot of blueprints. We've got uh, the Romo Geo Bay, got a nice pile of uh, salvaged data. 20 nanites have I got? 4,000 odd. I think what we'll do is uh, put that back in there. I think I'm going to turn about 15 of these into nanites. And then we'll use the rest to get some tech. Right, well, that's going. Survival basics. Yes, thank you, game. Reach, reach your base. Return to the, the previous base marked on the galaxy map or the base computer uh, to build a new base. Or use the base computer to build a new base anyway. Existing bases are not removed by creating the base. Yes. So I think we're going to hold that now until I find a decent base location. Now, the question is, do I build it in my... And, and the question is, do I build it in my starting system or one of the two systems I already got? I think what we will do is... We'll go looking for the radioactive planet so I can complete that mission. So, what we've got here? Discoveries. Your frost crystal, your cactus flesh. We got. And your, so we got two planets in the system that I haven't found yet, and one of them's got to be radioactive. You're the quagmire planet. You're the sub zero planet. You're the blighted planet. Of course, it goes without saying that I can't see the, the, the one planet I would like to see. I can't, I can't see. And what we'll do is we'll teleport away. So, so what we'll do is we'll pulse away. Get away from the immediate planets. And then we'll turn around and see what we can see. Come on, game. There's got to be some planets here. The salvageable scrap. Oh. Where are you? Yeah, where from? Oops, they're coming in from behind us.
Yep. Right, hasn't told me I've defeated them all, so that means there's another one in the vicinity here somewhere. Um, I'm going to keep looking for the planets. That's the sun. Oh, what we got over there? Underknown. Scan. Right, that's the radioactive planet. That's where we're going. Super critical planet. It's got gamma root, copper, uranium, and salt on it. Oh, we found an anomaly emergency containment device. <laughs> I don't think I really meant to do that, but we got something and I've lost the planet now. One game. Uh, right, this is. I've come out near the blighted planet. Where is the super critical planet? That's this anomaly, so. And there's. that's That's got to be the radioactive planet. I'm not going to be deterred from my mission. So we finally arrived and I'm just breaking through the atmosphere. Uh, target planet reached. Yes, thank you game. Wow. <laughs> How the heck am I going to land on this? Is there any flat space around here? we might be able to land just in here this that's not even near flat no nope. okay got a little bit of a landing point on this saddle here about Out here, I think we'll get a nice picture of the ship nestled in this area here. A little bit of height as well. F shift. Yep, got them into that mission. Yep. There's some features up there, we'll scan them, the cash, nice 104,000, features over there as well, yeah. uh, just across this shoulder here, I don't really want to fall off the edge though, just down there, That's what they are. You, another one there. Just go behind the rock. Wait, out from behind the rock. In the background there. Another one there as well. I think I've got the plant, not the. Creature. 34,000. My question is, where did my ship go? Down there. I jump in the ship and recharge my environmental protection.
Mm, let's just have a look at what I got from that anomaly. We got a packet of invisible larvae for 160,000. That's not bad. That thermal protection module. Got no space to actually install it. That's the problem. My starship is full. Use up lithium. We don't have a lot of space, but see what we can find round here. No. Up to the ship. Anything else around here that more out of the But uh my custom scanner down, I'm always doing that. So we got five out of fifteen. Like there's a predator here or something. Oh. I think he's got a bit upset with my custom marker. Could go and get that life support 35. You. You scan that. Hundred and we could go and get that technology module. And it's reasonably close. Let's go over the top of the hill here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you game. A little bit further away than I thought it was going to be. I'm going to have to blast all the plants away. Uncover the. Should be able to do. Oops, grab that. Three more salvage data. Yes, thank you. Back to the ship. Up the. Oops, I should have put that in. Just to put the. We use the battery. Up there. Hello. Mobile Christmas tree. I've got some goods here. I'm just going to hit the health just to make sure. Maximum antimatter housing. Base, everything is full, so. Right, you've got ordinary carbon there. We can. Of course, yeah, you've got to have a free slot to. Right, let's see if we can be a bit smart here. I. I put the carbon in there. That means that will give me that spot there. That turn that into condensed carbon. That can then go to the high capacity. I got. Mm, convert you into runaway mold. What we should be able to do now is open this up, rust, and we should get whatever's inside as well. All dihydrogen jelly, thank you. Um, I'm going to jump back in the ship, take off. I'm out of launch thrusters again. I've definitely got to stock up on launch fuel. I have I got a slot? No, I've got no slot to make it actually make the fuel. Right. 
conflict of interest. Now we got a trader. We could always try selling him something. Okay. Let's cargo manifest. We. But well, I could sell 15 of these. That give me 813,000. Very tempted. Yeah, I think we'll sell those. I know some of you will say, oh, I should be using them for nanites, but. And we can sell that, but that's for minus 6%. I think I might get a better price on the uh, space station, so I'll hang on to that. Of course, we got some more salvage data in here, but the price has dropped now, so. Okay. Then we can. What we can do now is. I mean, how many nanites have I actually got? 4,358 at the moment. I mean, I could turn those technologies into nanites. Not quite. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Okay, let me just come in here. Exosuit. There. Uh, turn those into nanites. So we've made money from the salvage tech and nanites. I mean, there's going to be plenty more be plenty more salvage tech to come so we can use that I just don't like the idea of buying the technologies which may affect the, the actual main missions yeah we can ignore him I'm not gonna fight him so we're just kind of sky in here yes we're in <laughs> too late hostile subspace scan fail jump out See if we can get a better price for that. Right, my tech suit is finished. We got another 225 nanites. The rusted metal will work. Turn you into nanites, that will take 17 seconds. Back right in there. And we should have some slots in the exosuit now. guy looks like he's got lipstick on <laughs> maybe he's a female maybe it's a female geck not a male geck and we've got only 52,000 units for that not bad thing I'll, I'll take it okay key missions browse missions kill quads no yeah. Let's see what we can price we can get for that. Here, yeah. we actually get a plus one point two for that, and we get another hundred and sixty-two thousand. And what we do now is finish off. We can go to the starship. What I need to do is make some more um, launch fuel. But it's I want to keep the gold because we need the gold to repair the other ship but they sell that silver when well, it's not going to be worth much but three little helps that's another 700 and it's just taking up a slot we've got ferrite dust here okay let me just actually leave that there and we've got dihydrogen there so if I in here and make uh, one, two, three, four of those. Make one, two, three. And that can go to the starship. That just leaves me 12 high uh, We've got some dihydrogen jelly, so I can make some more if I need it. I think six fuel would be okay. One more fuel. A little bit of ferrite dust. So, how many more of these I can make? One more. I don't think I'm going to bother. Ooh, 
nice empty inventory and um, I think there's a so let's just get back towards the ship and let's just take stock of where I've got to with the missions and we've got to go back to my base it says let's teleport back to my base let's see what happens if I just teleport back to my base I mean that could be quite an easy win teleport back there's that mystery base that keeps appearing which uh, I went to before and I got killed we keep away from him it's almost like the but that base is in the system I'm in but it can't be a couple of people people put comments in saying that they'd encountered the base and it wasn't where they thought it was So all that says is expand and staff your new base, but it, we could always build a new base though. So I've, probably the main trigger there is actually um, staffing the base, so we're just off the safe point here. And I suppose I could have a look around. Let's have a look. Yeah, there's no, no, no power generators there. Oops. Because what I could do is we just because what I could do is just have a look round and see there's no nearby hotspots here. Got a concentrated gas cloud 148. Uh, okay, let's just go in and see what that is. Okay, this way. It's quicker if you just don't scan while you're walking and just once you get a bit closer just kick off the scan again in that direction but we just on the other side of here I've right, gone a bit too far so it's eight meters that way nine meters that way whoops Let's see what this actually is. Sulfuring. Mm, not particularly that practical, to be honest. Sulfuring is needed for advanced manufacturing, but it's not something I really need at the moment. Principle. Right, let's just get back to my base. So then. So we'll just get back to my base I think in the next part what we'll do is go and look for a really good base location I mean, this is okay as a first base and I do intend to just keep it but what I would like is a decent location for a permanent base preferably in one of these three systems that I've already got if I don't find anything then we'll move on to a new system and feel free to comment if you think maybe I should move to a new system and start afresh there seeing that the I've got my three marker systems if God knows what that is coming in some kind of tornado or something it is a tornado isn't it or is it a firestorm that's a firestorm <laughs> well, we'll back off from that anyway this is where I'm going to leave it hope you enjoyed the episode hope you found it interesting and until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.